Hi everyone, welcome to another video review. These are the Transformers Power of the Primes Legends class Battle Slash and Road Trap. Or, well, combined they'll be Battle Trap as we all well aware. That's why I'm doing them together because who would buy them separately? Anyway, you can see it's a white helicopter and a blue truck. And of course, they come in these packages. You can see them right there. There's the artwork and everything. Very nice artwork. On the back you can see there's Battle Slashes. Render. Torment's Autobots with his dual cone partner Road Trap, and then Tornobots Autobots with his dual cone partner Battle Slash, and yeah, you can see all their stuff and all that stuff, and there's a packaging, standard Legends fair stuff. They, of course, also come with their instructions. You can see I'll pull it up. Instructions, which, if I recall, is a little difficult for me because, of course, I was also really late at night when I did so with uh, Road Trap, but... There's also their cards, Battle Slashes and Road Traps cards. See different colors because different, different uh, Prime Masters. Megatronus Battle Slash, toys with enemies to increase his legend. And Prima Road Trap, in inspires allies with legendary feats of cunning. Hmm. How about that? So anyway, yes, this is a modern take on the old Duocon Battle Trap, split into two robots now rather than just one. You can see white helicopter, blue truck again. Uh, both of them, you know, have some nice detailing here. You know, you get a nice blue, nice shade of blue for the cockpit window on uh, Battle Slash here with a just a little Decepticon tampo, little red lights here, a little bit of blue from the paint. Uh, this doesn't ro rotate, but it's nice as there. The rotor in the back, and well, this spins doesn't spin super well, but it spins. It kind of keeps getting caught on the uh, bits of the helicopter. But it rotates. Um, problem is, I feel big old gaping hole. Which hole is necessary? But I wish there was like because this is a hel you know like a helicopter Decepticon helicopter. I wish there was like a like gun that plugged into this this port so that you know had a little gun on the front. I suspect a third party could easily do that. You know, have a, it plugs in there and you can unplug and it holds the gun as a five millimeter port inside too or peg inside too, so you can hold it in robot modes. I think that would be a great idea. So some third party or shapeways person can get on that. Um. Road Trap here, you know, kind of a boxy blue truck with red windows and yellow headlights, you know, and silver grill and everything. This is all nicely picked out. Got a little winch there, too. This is all nicely picked out on the front. You know, he's got this, like, black bar thing on top. You can see the Decepticon symbol right there. Little detailing. Yellow as well. The rear of the truck, though, looks, well, oof. It's not great. I can understand why there has to be some compromise, especially at this scale, if you're going to have combining everything, but still, it's like, oof. That's not a particularly great look back there, so uh, just just don't don't uh, look at the back. But yeah, very nice alt modes, both of them, um, like for the most part. I mean, again, the big thing being the back end here and the front here are not the greatest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, Battle Slash here for transformation. To start off, what I like to do is uh, pop, the, pop the cockpit up just because it kind of gets it. You need to get out of the way because the tabs in these little black things. And you untab the arms here from the back. There's a little tab on slot right there. In fact, I'm going to hold this a little closer. And... There you go. That's better. Yeah, a little tab and slot there. And take it from there. And then you untab the arms from each other. There's a one large tab that from there to that arm. See that mat? That's see that tab is pretty massive. Pretty good size. Uh, separate the arms out there on these little armatures as well. Got to separate those arms out because you also need to split the back end because this becomes the legs. And once you do that, you also want to rotate these both down and also open up this front end. It's on its own hinge. You open that up and you rotate them down. Like so, and there's the chest for the robot mode. Rotate him down. Bring the center like this. Make sure the center black piece is sitting like that. And then peg them together. Bring the legs down. Move these copter bits up like this. And rotate at the knees. This is lower half done. Now for these arms, there's this little joint right here. This little swivel joint. Got to rotate the arms forward like that, and then this has to still be open, by the way. Then you move these back like that, and same on this side. Rotate the 
rotate this little swivel joint. You also might need to uncurl the arm while doing so. Rotate the swivel joint and then move this back. And then you can fold this the helicopter cockpit back up and they'll re-tab into these black pieces like so and that will hold the arms in place. And you know, also, also uncurl here, bring them down, rotate the arms forward. Finally, this is actually going to un untap the black pieces again. You got to untap all that, move the head out, and then there's these little tabs, little tiny tabs right there, right where my, right where my fingernail is. They go in this slot in behind the mushroom peg. And that will hold the head into place. And there's a well battle slash in his robot mode. We'll put him off to the side for now and get to road trap. Road trap's also pretty easy. First thing you do is uh well uncurl this whole bit right here. Uncurl straightened out like that. Take these little black pieces down at the bottom at the front. Move them down. That's you know move the wheels out of the way. Untab the arms from the side and move them out like this. Get them out of the way. And take this whole section up, this whole back section right here, and you move it up. It's on a, there's this little rotating hinge thing back here. Move it up like this into place. That exposes the robot mode legs. You separate the legs out here. You take the windows, move them up like so. Then you take the hood of the truck and move it up like this as well. And move these these black pieces into the foot. Move the arms all the way forward. And rotate the head around. Real simple. And you got Road Trap. Now, these two. Very interesting little robot modes here. They're, I think they're a little bit compromised, particularly uh, Battle Slash here, for the sake of their uh, combined mode. But they're not too bad looking. Um, again, I'm going to start with Battle Slash here. Mostly white, you know, you got a black Decepticon symbol with some nice little dark, dark blue, almost metallic. Well, actually, it's more glossy, like purple blue right there. Kind of almost purplish blue right there on the chest. You know, lots of blacks and cream white or bone white and a little bit of blue for the feet. He's also got his propeller still, so I guess he can use that as a weapon of sorts. You know, just, you know, chop up anyone who gets in his way. But, yeah, you can see he's very wide and squat. He's very thick-legged. Yes, thick. He's very thick. <laughs> he's also got nicely, um, nice silver paint on the head with uh, little orange eyes. Gonna... Yeah, you can see that on the head, just uh, really nice silver there. But it's, yeah, it's a pretty nice robot mode, just kind of weird looking, just because, well, again, compromised for their combined mode, so he's really squat looking. But he's got a swivel head, can look left and right. He's got bulge on his shoulders, but they're attached at the back and not the side, so they're a little weird, but they still pretty much function as most bulge on his shoulders would. So he's got forward articulation and side outward articulation, but no backwards articulation, because, again, of how it's designed. He's got a ball jointed elbow, but he's also got this, uh, hinge so I guess you can also curl it inwards if you want but he's got the ball jointed elbow so that's you know free range of motion there rotation and all that jazz no waist because of how it transforms unfortunately uh big old ball jointed hips though like I say big I mean big um mine like these don't tab together super well so sometimes when you're trying to move stuff it'll untab but they you know, move forward and outward quite a bit actually he's got ball jointed knees so that's also functions as a side swivel and bend about 90 degrees or so. And that's it for uh, foot articulation and whatnot. Again, it's legend, so not expecting a whole lot there. But it's decent for what it is. Again, it's particularly since they had to work in a combined mode for these guys at this class, size class. Roadtrap here has also got a pretty interesting alt mode. It's a little bit better proportionally, although his arms are a little, I guess, bulky compared to his legs, which is weird. Uh, again, mostly blues. Most of the same stuff from the vehicle mode kind of come in here. He's got a little bit of red on his shoulders now, though. Most still, all the blacks, yellows, and, you know, little striping and stuff from the vehicle motor here. You know, this the detailing from the front end on vehicle motor here as well. He's got, again, you know, 
nicely painted face picked out in silver with a big red visor. So that looks pretty good. Then the head, though, it's again also silver. No ball joint here. Uh, arms on ball joints, so forward, outward. Again, because of sculpting, not a lot of backwards. You can't really get any backwards mov movement. Elbows on ball joints, so swivel and um, up and down, 90 degrees or so, a little more than 90 degrees because that uh, no waist swivel again. Uh, ball jointed hips, so forward and back, outward, yay far. He's got a ball jointed knees, which, you know, get, they double the swivel and they can bend about that far and just knocked over battle slash. And oddly, because of this, you can kind of sort of get an ankle tilt of sort, thanks to these big ball joints for the knees. You can see how massive they are. So you, you can kind of at least, well, it, well, it's more of a, I guess, knee tilt, which is weird looking, but he's a decent looking robot. Although, again, from the back, he looks uh, pretty hollow. He looks a little bit better from the back because, yeah, not as much hollowness, but he, yeah, you can just see the hollowness. Again, this is... Thanks to the fact they have to combine, so something had to give somewhere, so I get that. Oh, just to give you an idea, I guess I'm um, going to put them next to Blackwing here, just so you can get, you know, get a general idea of size, comparatively. They're standard legend size, so it makes sense that Deluxe is bigger at this point. I say at this point, because, of course, they combine into... Battle Trap, which the old Duo Con, so they've kind of updated, so he has now two has multiple robot modes, so it's pretty neat. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with him just because he's the lower half and makes things a little easier. So, first thing again, take these arms and put them out to the side. And then you take the whole torso and move it back down, to, like as if you're going back to vehicle mode. You go ahead and split it as well. It's probably going to split when you do this anyway, because I've just noticed that's what it does. You take the arms and, well, move them back and peg them back in as if they were for vehicle mode. Same on this side, peg them back in. And, yeah, you're pretty much in leg mode, pants mode, whatever you want to call it. That's He's ready to go. He's real simple. Battle Slash is a little more complicated because you have to flip things around and stuff. So, again... You gotta hide the, so you gotta open it up, hide that head in, close that back up. You gotta open up this, this bit right here, move these arms out of the way, because you gotta move the legs back down, like that, so. Gotta move them down, not to the side, like that. Gotta move them down, and while you're doing so, take the arms, move them back. Like that. This, this is the official thing. There's been multiple fan modes about this, but you take this, take the arms, move them forward like that. Take the arms, or take now what these are the arms now. Take them and then fold them in on themselves. There's a little tab here. They'll go into a little slot right here. Make sure it's firmly plugged in. Like that. And then take the head, move it out. There's a little notches on the bottom of the head. See these little notches on the bottom of the head here which will go over these little tiny tabs right here. Like that. And you close this up. And you take this piece and fold it up like this. And you pretty much have the top half of Battle Trap. So then you take this, the bottom, take the head. It's going to plug into that big old square slot. Just, it's probably going to resist quite a bit, so uh, be prepared to use a bit of more force than you might be comfortable with. You plug it in, and now you have the new battle trap. And he looks great. This is a really nice thing. The color combo works everything. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, that we're getting a brand new version of battle trap of all things, a duo con. Uh, we might be getting more, another duo con. Eventually, hopefully. I suspect that is the case. They're planning on doing another Duocon. Uh, what was this? Flywheels, I think? Yeah. That would not, would not surprise me if it's a kind of a minor remolding of these two. I'm not sure. We'll see. But it's actually kind of neat just having two Legends class figures com combine into, well, an almost deluxe class. He's 
kind of a small deluxe, basically. He's only a little bit shorter than Blackwing here. You can kind of see that. He's like half a head shorter, so he's basically a small deluxe now, which is it's pretty nice um, for this. So I guess it's kind of more or less buying these two is more like kind of a expensive deluxe then, because they're about ten bucks a pop versus an eighteen dollar deluxe. So, but again, he looks really good. Uh, the white and blue again, most of that detailing is back. I mean, so it looks really good. He just kind of splits like you know it did before. He's got a nice noggin here, um, picked out in light blue for the face. The nice light blue there, and then the silver goggles. That looks really nice, and I just like how they use the helicopter cockpit here. As also, if you really want to, you can actually transform this guy back mostly into uh, truck mode and kind of simulate the old G1 thing, but that looks a little silly just because it looks like a uh, robot kind of sitting down. But if you want to, you can do that. Anyway, again, it looks really good. I, again, like I said, there's been people in the fan mode, which like these plug together differently, and they have the... The helicopter blade kind of hanging out back here like a like a sword. Some people have also taken the helicopter blade off and used it as a weapon because he ha comes with none. Um, I can't seem to get mine off without bending the heck out of the uh, blade, so I'm a little f scared to actually break it because it's just not coming off without stuff bending like crazy. So uh, just know that the back end here, people have done different things in this, but this is the official way of doing it. It's also the simplest uh, transformation to do. But uh, articulation. This head's once again on swivel, so left and right. Ball jointed shoulders, because these are the legs from before, so. But these are now unhindered, so forward and back, outward. They Sometimes they'll untab themselves from this, unfortunately, but it doesn't take too much to get them to retab. Ball jointed elbows, so forward motion. Side to side, everything. Thanks to you, the clever use of the articulation for this guy's head, it's, well, he's got a waist swivel. A pretty free rate waist swivel, too. Which is nice. Ball jointed um, hips, right here. Ball jointed forward and back, outward. There's thigh swivels. They, they engineered it, so he does have thigh swivels in this mode. Knee bend, which is, this is kind of where things get a little weird. Uh, there's kind of like multiple bends here. You can kind of, like, th this is supposed to be the knee bend right here. It's kind of obscured a bit. You, you know, there's a knee bend. It's hard to use it fully without things kind of detransforming, I've noticed. But there is the knee bend. Theoretically, it goes not quite 90, but pretty far anyway. And thanks to, again, thanks to the ball joints from before, these those old knee joints are now, can be ankle tilts and whatnot. Although they're kind of limited thanks to the arms plugged in back here. If you move them out of the way, then you got a lot more motion. So if you're willing to unplug these, the arms, if you're willing to unplug Road Trap's arms, you got a lot of uh, free movement. But once you plug these in, it kind of restricts things a bit. Although he still does have side to side ankle tilt at the very least. So there's that. Deluxe class figure with some ankle tilt. That's uh. Pretty good for a Hasbro figure, I think. Hasbro Takara figure now. But yeah, I really like this. I you know I never had a road trap, but it's kind of a crazy thing. Just the idea of two robots, you know, like combining like this. And now it's a brand new version. It just looks really good. I think. Uh, just you know, it's kind of a little hollow back here. Eh, don't look at it from the back. That's just my my thing. Just don't look at it from the back, and it's, everything's fine. But it looks really good. It's just a nice uh, figure. It just. It surprises me how much fun it is to kind of take these guys apart over and put them back together over and over again. It's just this Duocon thing. So I'm hoping to do the other one. I hope they can do a fly. I think it's flywheels. I'm, I'm hoping to do one just because this guy was a lot of fun and I, I really like this one a lot. Uh, I would recommend going and pick them up. You know, this thing's just starting to appear at Walmart. A lot of the online stores are just getting them in stock now. So I would highly recommend picking this guy up. It's it's a really nice one. I. I really enjoy it. I think a lot of people will be pleasantly surprised by this one. So just go ahead and pick them both up. Don't get just one. You're going to be disappointed, I think. Because individual, the individual robot modes are all right. Their vehicle modes are pretty good. But again, you can see that both were compromised for the sake of this mode. And this is where it shines. If you go get these two together and have a lot of fun with this. And the only thing is someone needs to get on giving this guy a weapon. So, uh... Yeah, I like it a lot. I could go get it. I've been rambling too much. So I hope you enjoyed 
this review. I hope you found it informative or entertaining. And I'll see you next time with another video review.